Shall I say my name? I'm with uh, Grace Valley at the end of the Multiplication Conference in Hammersmith in London. Uh, Grace, you've been talking about uh, change management to a group. Uh, what are some key takeaways that you'd want to emphasise? Yeah, um, when a leader introduces change to a church, it's really important that the leader bears in mind that change for anyone can be quite traumatic. Okay. Even if it's simple things like, you know, doing things differently mm -hmm. or a new person is coming into the leadership mm -hmm. team, it can be quite traumatic. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that leaders need to bear in mind that when people go through change, they go through different emotions or mm -hmm. different behaviours, mm -hmm. such as the, be the moment you introduce change, they are afraid, they are in shock, yeah. um, or they are worried that, okay, how does that affect me? Yeah. Um, and also with change, people will also get to a point where they feel quite anxious of what, what's happening in the future with this change. They can get depressed as well, which I call the, the valley of despair. Uh -huh. So leaders need to be mindful that with any kind of change, there are transition points. Okay. Okay. The first one is that, the first transition is that it's the person has come to the end of what they know. Uh -huh. That's called endings. Mm. The next transition point is called a neutral zone. This is where the leader needs to work with those who are impacted by the change mm -hmm. and be able to think of ways where people can buy into mm -hmm. whatever has been introduced, so mm -hmm. such as a new vision or we're going to do mission together. Uh -huh. um, and then the final point, after you've, as a leader, have worked with people, you've told them the vision, you've casted it, you've asked them to come on board, the final point is moving to new beginnings. Uh -huh. And in new beginnings, that's when the change is in operation. Nice. And maybe one more point to, to highlight is that when we go through change, there will be people that resist the change, mm. not because mm. they're troublemakers, <laughs> but nobody likes change. Yeah. And it's important that you um, pay particular attention to them mm. and demonstrate why the change is ah. going to be good. Okay, so you cast a vision of a, of a better future in a way? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Cast a, a vision of a better future mm -hmm. um, and how that's going to benefit the church. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. I think it's really important, why are we doing this? We're doing it because scripture alludes to it. Scripture yeah. tells us that this is what God has called us to do. Yeah, right. I like that. So there's the the importance of understanding people in that valley, that neutral zone where yes. they're not sure what's happening, yes. confused perhaps, yeah. reassuring them, but then casting a vision of something that's better. Absolutely, with understanding yeah. with the scriptures behind it. Exactly, and communication in that neutral zone mm -hmm. is really important. Okay. So communicate, communicate, communicate. Okay, and that's a great point to stop. Thank you so much, Grace. And we, You're welcome. We wish you well in your ordination in just yeah, two weeks' time. I'm excited about it's that. It's very exciting. Thank you. Okay, God bless. Bye. God bless.